Don't show him the dirt. Hi guys, it is June 2nd, 2013. Sunday. Yeah, Alan took a picture of my leg. Because I wanted you to see where it's red. And uh, it's been really itchy for the past couple days. And it's been pussing, so I have to wipe it and uh, wipe that pus off and clean it up. And so, anyway, that's what I've been dealing with. But also, I've been dealing with the heat. Because it's been really hot for the past two days. Ever since Friday. Friday and Saturday we're in the 90s. And today... It's 74 right now. We're going to get a storm, so it's windy out. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about was um, Thursday night, I had a bad night. Because Al went to work about 8 p.m. And I was, you know, doing my thing and, and stuff all night. And um, Then I decided to go to bed about 11.45 because I wanted to at least try to get some sleep, right? So, oh, and by the way, getting in shape with Lee, I'm drinking my water. Lee, getting in shape with Lee, you guys ought to go check his channel. Um, he's pretty. He works hard. But it has no lavender, no lime. I just like it plain, uh, besides with the crystal light. Anyway, uh, so that night, I go to bed about 11.45. And about 12.15, I heard music. So I got up, looked outside, and I didn't see nothing. And, I mean, it was like, just, it was clear. You know, there was no one walking around, no one, you know, so I said, well, okay, but where's the music come from? So then I went back to bed, and I tried to go back to sleep. Well, at about 12.30ish, I heard this alarm go off. So I once again I get up, look out the window, and then see nothing. I didn't it's like where's that alarm come from? And it was loud and it was going off, it was going off, it kept, you know, it's just making very loud. And I said, Well maybe it's a car alarm. And uh, so I went back to lay in bed. And I was up and then I got up after that and I had to you know, go to the bathroom, get a drink, and went back to bed. So I was kind of waiting to see what was going on with the alarm because I didn't, I didn't know if I should call downstairs to the security guard or what. But about 20 minutes later, I hear sirens in the background. And I said, finally, it's uh, probably the fire trucks or something. And so... I stayed at the window. No, no, I, I, I laid back down. And, um, cause I was just laying there and I heard the siren. Actually, yeah, I was just laying there and I heard the siren. So I got up, checked, and they weren't there yet. And then I laid back down. So I waited for a few minutes and then about five minutes or so, so I, I kind of heard about there. So I got up, <laughs> I was up and down, up and down. And I said, wow, I can't have any fire trucks. There was like four fire trucks and cop cars. And so what they were doing was they got, had their flashlights and they were walking around in the darkness. There's a warehouse office over there. So they were checking out that place. And then there's two warehouses down from the warehouse office. So um, they were, you know, checking it around, um, you know, with the flashlights and that. Uh, and it's like, I was just standing there watching them for about five or six minutes. And finally about, excuse me, about 10 after one, the alarm goes off after being on for about 35 minutes. And so I said, good. And so they were, you know, getting ready to leave and stuff. And I said, I wonder what happened, what was going on? Because it didn't seem like nothing was going on. So. The alarm, I think, just must have went off for, I don't know, for no reason. <laughs> um, anyway, so Allie gets home in the morning about, you know, after 6, and I was exhausted. I was, I only got about three hours of sleep. Um, I was sore from getting up, laying down, getting up, laying down, because it hurts my legs. And my legs have been killing me. Um, 
for about four or five days, both of my legs have been hurting. I haven't really walked because I've been in pain anyways. And so um, when Alan got home, he said, yeah, he, I told him what happened. He said, yep, the security guard told me all about it. He's the one that called it in. And I said, well, what was wrong? He said he didn't know. And I said, oh. So I still don't know what happened. But um, four fire trucks, that's kind of amazing, you know. So um, anyway, I'm, I'm hoping to go. Alan is off this week on vacation. So I told him I want to get up early, you know, about nine, nine-ish, and go for the walk, go, you know, hopefully could go to the, uh, not the bug light, the pier, because that's about 10, 12 minutes away, the way I walk, but he walks in three, so. Um, but yeah, and then I know I miss my lilacs because I haven't been out, so my li I'm sure my lilacs are gone. Are they gone? They're pretty much gone yeah. now. So my lilacs are gone, but I told Alan, I want to try to walk at least four times this week because I really need to, maybe even five. And um, then we could come back and have breakfast and then I could say I went walking, but my legs have been killing me. They have been hurting so much. I lay in bed and they hurt. And I've been taking all kinds of ibuprofen and just kind of trying to rest them. But um, this really sucks. And then with the heat, and so I've been kind of miserable. But you know, we put we did put the air conditioner in the room there, so um, that really helped. I just don't like the. It feels too cold after a while. Something amazing has happened. I got to talk to my sister Michelle. Now she is the one that I have tried calling and calling and she doesn't talk to me. Well the reason I got to talk to her was because my mom and my sister Lisa are out in California now and uh, they took my aunt, Auntie Anne, because she doesn't like to travel by herself. They took her last year to California and then they took her this year. So. I called my sister a couple of days before they would show up there and then so I left a message and I said oh, she won't call back and then the next day she called back but her, her number said it was blocked and I said I don't know who blocked is so I didn't answer she left me a message saying I just called you but we were disconnected and I said oops that was her <laughs> and anyway she said well we'll talk when you, you know your mom and them are here and, and stuff and so it's like okay well, anyway, so I had called her because I wanted to see if Mom and you know Lisa made it in okay, and so she called me back the next day, and we talked, and I told her so much in one phone call because she asked me. She said, "Well, how are you doing?" It's like, well, you know, I'm in pain a lot, and because my legs, and you know, this and that, and I, you know, try to walk, but sometimes I don't get out there, and. She says, I don't like hearing that you're stuck inside a lot. She says, I want you to get out more. And it's like, I want to say, what, you're going to give me a lecture? And you haven't talked to me in years. <laughs> so, you know, we talked. And um, I just thought, finally. And then, and then she says, I'm going to check up on you. And I want to say, go for it. You know, I doubt if you'll do it, but go for it. I just said, good. I said, OK, because she wants me to get out there. And, you know, lately I've been, my other aunt told me, she says, you know, you got to start doing the dishes more and try to dust and stuff. And so I've been doing the dishes because I could only stand for about, oh, today I stood for about six minutes to do a sink full of dishes. And then I had to sit back down. And the pain wasn't as much, but, um, and then I dusted a little bit yesterday in the living room here. And I just have to move around a little bit more, but it's hard because I get really sore. Um, if I stand up for five or six minutes, um, my whole body just starts to hurt. So I do got to try to move around a bit more, and, and uh, so I'm trying. But the thing that had stopped before was because I was too sore, and I know I'm going to be sore doing it, but it's going to help me in the long run. And I used to clean all the time before all this happened, and um, I would clean the whole the whole apartment and I would even do the laundry and stuff and now I don't even do the laundry you know Alan does it and uh because we have to go all the way downstairs they have a laundry mat on the first floor so anyway so I'm trying I just been in a lot of pain and Alan's can you stop moving your chair it squeaks I know so quit moving them please um you have to take that part out 
Anyway, so I'm, I'm really trying here to do more, and I figure, well, I'm in pain, but like my aunt says, it's going to get better. It's going to take you time, but it's going to get better as long as you try to do something. And anyway, so that's what I've been doing the past, you know, couple days. I've been trying to dust. I've been trying to... And what I do is I do the dishes during the daytime, you know, like breakfast and lunch, and he does the dinner dishes. Uh, but at least I keep him up. That way he doesn't have to do the dishes right before he, um, or while he's uh, cooking dinner. Because he's the one that cooks dinner here, so I used to cook, but I don't anymore. But, anyway, so that's my news, and, um, you know, to, like I said, today's a cool day. We're going to get a storm, and, um, I hate when I say, and I'm a lot. But, there's my, you know, what I've been doing, and, and uh, just trying to get more done, even though I'm in pain, and... I don't know why both my legs were hurting all of a sudden. It was, it was like just before my left leg would just hurt. But then all of a sudden my right leg hurts. And it's funny, when I get up, um, I start out walking really slow because I have a hard time getting moving. And I feel like an old lady. The way I walk, it's like, oh my God, do I need a cane at this point? But it's like, once I take a few steps and then I, and, uh, then I get going and it's like, okay, now that pain's gone. But I would tell you, my right thigh was hurting for two days this week. It's like, I told my friend, Angie, I said, I don't go doing sprints outside. Why is my right thigh hurting all of a sudden? It hurt two weeks ago, to the same spot, and it took two days for it to go away. And then this, it took two days this time to go away. So it's like, why am I in all this pain? I don't understand. It's like, this year sucks, because last year, the year before that, and the year before that, I wasn't in that much pain. I was in pain, but... It seems like I'm getting more paint this year. I get the kid out of the bathroom again, Alan. Um, anyway, so that's my ramblings. I just want to tell you, I'm still in a lot of pain, and I'm trying to break through it. And we'll see if I, if my right leg, my thigh continues again in a couple more weeks. I'm gonna have to go to the doctor for that. And she'll say it's probably from you're trying to move much more and stuff. But and that could be it. I don't know. But anyway, we'll see. So. I will talk to you later. You all have a good weekend, the rest of the weekend, and we will talk to you later. I'm going to be doing a couple more videos this week. Bye.